Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're listening to the podcast Capturing Magic. I'm Bill Rogers, the voice of Disney. Thanks very much for listening. Welcome to Capturing Magic. I'm Steph from CapturingMagic.me and the DailyDigi.com, and I am here today with Tanya, who can be found at CrossbowCuts.blogspot.com. Hi, Tanya. Hello. Thanks for being here. Sure, Steph. You're welcome. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hey, good to see you too, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're also here with Heather W., who can be found at heatherw.com forward slash character. Hi, Heather. Hey, thank you. Hi, I'm really glad to be here, Seth. <laughs> Wait up, stage Tanya. <laughs> Always. Always happy to do that, right? <laughs> you are currently getting ready for a Disney World trip. Yes, three days. On the countdown. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of, not that it came out of nowhere, but it seems like it went from like 20 days to like five. Really fast. So, yeah. And you're celebrating your mom's birthday down there. Yes. We're going to go to California Grill on her birthday. And uh, this is the first time that we were here on her birthday. So we, we were there a couple years ago. It was like the day before. Mm-hmm. So that should be fun. It will be fun. That will be fun. How close do you have to have a trip? How Me? close to a no? How close to a birthday do you have to have a trip in order to call it celebrating that birthday? Within eleven months. <laughs> <laughs> no hesitation whatsoever. Right None was there. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, probably. I mean, it depends on the person. Some people only will celebrate on their birthday. Yeah. Some people celebrate a birthday month anyway, even if they're not at Disney. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I mean, I've, I've done it a couple, like, you know, when in my month, in, in like December if I'm there. So I say give or take a month, month before, month after. Any, any, any expanse of that, you're still technically in the birthday range. Okay. Now, when you say month, do you mean like the calendar like, month before or do you mean the 30 days yeah, before and the 30 well, let's days? Let's go like my birthday is September 29th. Okay. I would count all of September and all of October, depending on when I went on my trip. <laughs> like, you know, like my, it's right in the middle there. So I, if I went in t- on a trip in October, I'd be like, oh, well, part of the money I'm on this trip with was birthday money. <laughs> so it's still a birthday trip. Okay, perfect. Close enough. Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay, uh, that's we're not what we're talking about today, but I just thought I'd throw it out there. <laughs> we have a lot of news that we are going to talk about, and so we decided to do just a show about new stuff. We haven't recorded in a long time, and here we are. It's exciting. Thank you. Yay. Thanks, Yay. girls, for nudging me and prodding me. We've actually, I have had so many emails, messages on Facebook, and even texts from people asking when we're going to do a show again. So thank you to all of our listeners for continuing to support us, even though I haven't been good about recording regularly. We will get there. I promise we will get back to doing things regularly because I love doing this show. So. Yeah, it's not like we don't like to do them. We do like to do them. Yes. My life's just been really overwhelming lately, and uh, we're getting there. We're getting to a point where I can... <laughs> yeah. I started homeschooling two kids this fall, just putting that out there. Um, but we're getting into a regular routine and things are good so okay the infinity event tanya we had an email from disney um, interactive asking if any of our team members and or readers listeners would be interested in attending this event and so i tossed it on over to you since you're local in california and you went to it and you invited some readers and listeners Tell us about it. <laughs> yes, I. Um, it's the Disney Infinity Be a Hero Extra Life charity event, and um, ex- the Extra Life event is um, an annual event that gamers get together and play games to raise money for local children's hospitals. And so this year, um, Disney Infinity was part of it with their new um, Disney Infinity 2.0 release with the Marvel characters and stuff coming up. So they were promoting that. And it was really cool. It was at the Disney Interactive Campus, which is always fun to go to any sort of Disney campus. Yeah. And um, they had a whole bunch of stations set up with the new Disney Infinity characters. They had computers. They had all the gaming systems. And it was being recorded live. And you were able to see... um, to watch it on, I don't know if it was on, it was on Twitch TV. 
So it was it was a 24 hour broadcast of all different type of gaming stuff and fundraising. And so from like 11 to three, it was the Disney Infinity stuff. So they were on camera the whole time. You had to sign a waiver and everything. And um, you were able to dress up as your favorite Infinity characters. And there was a Halloween contest and there were giveaways and you were able to do power disc trading. And there was food. Most important part, obviously. Good. Yes. And um it was a lot of fun. I was actually kind of surprised because we got there right when it started at 11 and you can show up anytime between 11 and three. And so when we got there at 11, I was like, well, there's not that many people in here. I'm not quite sure what's going on, you know, but then a little while later, it got a little bit more crowded and some more people were in there and I invited John and Ginger and their three kids. Um, but yeah, I, they came and the kids were dressed up as uh, John and Ginger, yeah, sorry, John Chua, who always gets a mention <laughs> yes. in every podcast. <laughs> if faithful, <laughs> faithful, loyal listener yeah. and reader, and probably our biggest cheerleader as well. Yeah. <laughs> so he deserved to go. Yes, 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 yes. And so um, I always, uh, not that you need to, but I always feel better when I bring kids, some sort of child to these things, <laughs> just because I can get more into it with a kid than I do by myself. And so their kids were dressed up as Guardians of the Galaxy characters, and they looked so cute, they and they did. won the costume contest. Yeah, so cool. Like grand, grand prize winners of the costume contest, and with all of the kids in costume, but especially these three, they did like some major video recording of them, and I believe that it's going to be a segment on the Disney Channel. Really so, cool. So it's a promo for the new stuff. And yeah, it was good. They reached their goal, their fundraising goal, which I think was $1,500 within like an hour or two. Wow. So anything over that was awesome bonus. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I will say uh, we got Infinity 2.0 the day it came out. We changed. We used to be on a Wii, a regular Wii, not the Wii U. And we changed to a PlayStation 3, I believe. <laughs> My kids love 2.0 on the PlayStation, I got to say. Um, it, Infinity on the regular Wii was kind of the dumbed-down version of Infinity, which is disappointing because that's what the Wii pe the people that make the Wii, that they made it that way, not the Disney people. Yeah. And so, but they, my kids love, love, love it on PlayStation because it has all of the capabilities and functions and everything, and they've had a yeah. lot of fun playing it. I had never really gotten to play it, so it was kind of cool getting to play with, for the first time with the new characters. They even brought out, um, during some of the live telecasting of it, some new characters that aren't even out yet. Ooh, so fun. they had like Aladdin and Jasmine out and stuff, and so... Fun. Yeah, so we got to see those, and they were so funny because they were like, we're going to play with these characters, but we can't break them because these are like the original moles. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my God. Holy I don't want to touch around. it, knowing, yeah. you know, my luck. I'm... <laughs> Yeah, Jinx. so they, they had everything out for you to just sit there and play for hours. That's what they wanted you to do. And so it was a, it was a lot of fun. And um, John even John and Ginger had a friend that works on the campus that was there with us. And so she was able to take us around the campus and show us some stuff. Oh, fun. Yeah. So um, that's always fun to do, too. You get to see they have a really cool fountain, Mickey fountain there and some stuff inside, like where she works and stuff. So cool. I'll post some pictures of that. Yes. Stuff. We would love to see it. Thank you for doing that. Okay. Another thing that we wanted to talk about today is the new ride videos that they're doing in Disney World. I'm really excited about this. Me too. Yeah. Okay. So I've seen so far that uh, the Tower of Terror, you get a ride video and Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. And so is, have you seen others, Heather? Those are the only two I've seen so far. Okay. I'm sure... They're probably going to keep adding them, I would assume. Yeah, I would think I mean, so, I, too. So, I mean, I'm excited to do that. And it automatically gets added to your band, right? Yes. So, to your, if you have Memory Maker, I believe you have to have right. Memory Maker f in order for it to be automatically added, is my understanding. And it's like they have it's the stock footage, I guess. And then they add in your ride videos. Yes. So it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's yes. it's stock footage of like the ride and the, you know, yeah. and then they add in your actual ride. The downside of it is you get everybody else that was on the ride too. It's yeah, not it just like you. The ride, it is like that way with the ride anything. photos too. And yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Well, not like on the coasters, you don't get the whole entire everybody on the ride. You just get maybe your car. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the one of the drops for the, the mine train. And then and then obviously the Tower of Terror is that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's a drop. Yeah. Are you gonna so, do Tower of Terror there, Heather? To get the I video? No, I don't know. Yes, I did are. I did Tower of Terror for the first time when I was at Disneyland. Somehow John was like for months has, has been like, oh, Yo, you're gonna go on Tower of Terror, right? Uh huh, yeah. And then somehow on my last day when I'm out there, he said, Okay, we're gonna go. I put, okay. Like what how, how did that happen? I have no idea. I think they did something to my brain. They conspired, <laughs> I think, against you. He kept texting me telling me he was gonna get you on it. <laughs> and you know what? She liked it. <laughs> she laughed and smiled the entire time. Really? Yep. Did we just lose her? Probably. She's probably all mad now. <laughs> <laughs> because, because she liked Tower of Terror. That's <laughs> crazy. Okay, we got to get her back on here because <laughs> here I'm adding her. Yeah, it was funny. She okay, you there, Heather? The yeah, somehow I got disconnected. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> she said that you love Tower of Terror at Disneyland. <laughs> She well, won't admit I, it. She laughed and she smiled. Okay, because here's the thing. Tower of Terror at Disney World, I don't think is as, is as scary as Disneyland. Not I nearly. Think it was either. I not, think like, was either. not even a fraction of the amount of terror goes through me as it does in <laughs> Disneyland. I mean, the thing was we went and then we were like, you know, of course, because we were figuring out how we were going to... Tanya could take her selfie of all of us on it. So we had it planned. <laughs> and then, and so we're all standing there. And then they're like, okay, well, this this elevator is broken or something. So we have to move you. And I'm thinking, like, this is not a good sign. <laughs> so this is all this added time that I'm, I'm adding up, you know, to do. Like, I didn't even take pictures through the queue, which you know is yeah. um, like nervous I was. And then, you know, the there was like this awesome cast member. And I think John said, oh, yeah, we have like a first timer here because, you know, that makes it better. And <laughs> she was like, you know, talking to me the whole time. And so we did the ride. And the whole time I was laughing. I don't know if it was nervous laughter or what. But, yeah, the whole time I was laughing. And you then. You didn't throw no, up, so Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it was like it's not something I would like run to go do again. But, I mean, like I didn't hate it and I didn't get like sick like I thought I would so and then the good part was like they were all telling me like yeah this is what is when it's going to start and like, this is when the picture is going to be and you know, all that stuff so that helped also and I know the Disney World one it's not really like that right because it's like uh different yeah, ours, is, or, ours is ours is not randomized like it's yeah, the same randomized. ride every time yeah. so then why does it scare me so much because <laughs> it's just the it's the anticipation like the, I still like the first like and anticipated drop i'm just like oh my god it's coming right now oh my god like <laughs> like but then see disney yeah. world does not scare me near as much as disneyland's does it yeah i i didn't find it as scary either me. yeah but then when <laughs> i was done like i was still shaking because like the yes that's what i do and she was you know saying how to go and, oh, okay and she's she's like oh i can still feel your shake yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah i shake and then i when i get off i in disneyland but see disney world no uh uh-uh. no I don't I shake. Say that, that was probably like the best ride picture I ever had. Yeah, it was a good. <laughs> one. I think that I was like laughing the whole time or something. I don't know what it was, but like we were all smiling. Fun. No one sent <laughs> me a copy of it. I'll send you a copy yeah, of it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So I don't know. It depends. Like I know I've had people say, "Oh, now we're going to get you on that," but we'll, yeah, we'll see. Well, now that there's ride video, you have. To. Yeah, you got to do a ride video. <laughs> you have to do it for research. The name of research. Yes, <laughs> for capturing magic. You got to do it. It's exciting. I and this was the rumor that you know, clear back. If people go back, 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 one of our very first episodes, one yeah. of the things that I talked about that I hoped that they would do was add videos and stuff. So I think it's exciting because even though I'm, you know, I'm a digital scrapbooker. That's the primary way that I document my memories. I'm adding QR codes to my digital scrapbook pages like crazy, and it's going to be especially my Disney ones, and it's going to be so much fun to have those ride videos that I can upload and then put a QR code in of my family on the ride. I mean, I noticed when I did the ride, like when it first opened, there was a camera like right, like towards the end, but that's not where the, the video is. So I don't know what that camera was for, but hmm. it was weird. So they don't have like a picture, but they would have a video. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know, but I'm sure it's something that they'll continue adding. Yeah, I think we'll see it on Everest. I think we'll see it on. I mean, I think there's a lot of rides that we'll see it on. I think so basically, all the rides this, I wouldn't do. I think, thought we had talked about yeah, before too. how I said, um, and I thought this was how they were going to do the video. I didn't realize how they were going to do the video at Knott's Berry Farm. They do like individual seat. Yeah, which like, I think would be great. Yeah. 
it was it's like a literally the camera's like in front of you yeah. on the bar that's like that's what i thought they might would do but i guess that would take a lot more stuff yeah you know, have to redo well yeah because they yeah they have to redo each seat they'd have to edit yeah. each seat instead of just doing each ride each time the train leaves which is what they're doing now on the mine well, train kind of neat about the way they're doing it though because i did watch one of the tower terror videos and i was like well that's kind of i don't know it's not really like it's not really your ride video it's kind of like an excerpt of your ride yeah they try to make it into like a little movie which i guess yes. is kind of cool yeah it is cool yeah because they have the you know the whole introductory scene well p- portions of the introductory scene of the ride and the music and yeah it's that's really cool the customization there but yeah. i i do think that it would be good if on some of the rides they could get your individual car uh, yeah, because nothing is better than the terror on some people's faces on any sort of ride. Yeah. <laughs> you need close-ups of that, like your kid's first time on the ride. You know, those pictures are fun. Yeah, yeah. they are. <laughs> and they're hard like to I, get if you're riding the ride. Yeah, like, I really wish I had a video of the first time my mom went on Soarin' Over California because she screams like a little girl. It's not even like a ride. <laughs> That's not even a scary ride. ride. Like, she wore, she wore like the kitty strap. Like, <laughs> I just wish I had like the little kid next to her kept looking at her like, why are you screaming? <laughs> like, it's funny. Like, like, I wish I had video I of that. Like, <laughs> yeah, my dad went on that and he thought it was going to go upside down. And so he had his <laughs> eyes closed the whole time. And so when we're done, and he said that, I'm like, you really think that we would go on a ride that goes upside down? So then when he went on the next time, you know, he, he you know, and then that became like one of his favorite things. But it's, like you said, it's so funny. Like you don't, you don't really know. <laughs> what to expect. That's so funny. Yeah. Okay. Magic shots. We've got some new ones that have been added that you've updated, right, Heather? And then. Yeah. And there's a couple I haven't posted about yet because. They're you just kind found of out in about beta, and also okay. wanted to see if I can get them because I'll, I'll go to that part because since we were talking about video that they've been having again, I'm not sure if it's um, like official now or if they're just still kind of in testing. But it has I have seen people post it. There's some magic shot videos. So Ooh. yes, yeah. I've heard about that. So there was the uh, the one that I saw the video of is Lumiere, and so that was in the New Fantasyland. And, you know, and I was uh, asking around about it, you know, and that's when I found out it was a beta thing. But I found out there's a couple others. And, again, I don't know if you can still get them. I'm going to attempt them. But apparently there is a Pascal one in Animal Kingdom. And there is a Mike one from Monsters, Inc. in Epcot. Oh. So I don't know. I haven't seen anything about it. That's and- a weird place for Mike. Epcot? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Only with what I've heard, but apparently, either they're trying them out or they're not. You know, so I'll, yeah. I'll see what I can what I can find out. Um, and it's the same thing. You know, it goes on your memory maker if you have it and everything like that. <clears throat> um, and Are they then, carrying video cameras or do they? Do no, it no. It's 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 like they just take it and then I guess the magic shot. The magic shot. At it. It, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. They add the yeah the magic. The character is animated and gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But it's just on on top of your added on top of your still photo. Interesting. So then it becomes the video. Gotcha. Yeah, because apparently there's a Lumiere one that's just regular, like not a video. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they're gonna just go to the video. I don't know because this is the thing I was trying to find out, and like it's kind of, like I said, it's kind of up in the air. Some of the stuff they're just testing, so I don't know. But I thought I would mention it. So that's that's kind of one of the ones. Then um, one of the the new ones, which is I think because of it's it's an ABC, so it's actually free, and so you don't need to have Memory Maker or anything. It's completely free because it's sponsored by ABC. It's a Once Upon a Time, the show, which yeah. is my favorite show. Uh, so it's a magic shot, and they add in Elsa and Regina is like the Evil Queen, and it's over by the ABC commissary in Hollywood Studios. Yeah. And so I'm not exactly sure where, because I, have, I haven't been there, but I'm assuming it's kind of like where, like, where they used to have American Idol. Didn't they used to have, like, a backdrop there? That would make sense yes. to where that is. Yeah. So, but yeah, so that's, like I said, completely free and looks, looks cool. So I don't I'm know wondering that. also if that's going to be a limited time. Yeah. So I don't know how long it's, but I mean, it's, what, been about a month, maybe? Yeah, just because I'm betting that it's like to kick off the premiere of once. So I'm betting 
Yeah, probably. Well, I saw somebody post a picture of it yesterday, so it's still there. <laughs> yeah, I, I bet that it'll be there through Thanksgiving. Yeah, so I'll see. And I'll see if I can find out anything else about Because they did have a um, Guardians of the Galaxy one, too, uh, when they had the had a movie there, I mean, like, or a preview at Hollywood Studios. And so I kn- they had a, a magic shot with that. But I don't think that's there anymore. So it's probably like, you know, but I don't know if then the studio was doing that same kind of thing that they were sponsoring it or not. But yeah, that's interesting. And so um, the other update I have is, you know, since we talked about the whole Frozen, when they had the Frozen uh, summer yes. thing. So they had all these magic shots for that. So I, that's one of the things I wanted to find out since now summer's over, <laughs> although everything is still frozen, but. This, this thing technically isn't there anymore. They have some of it, but not the whole, you know, special event. But they do still have some of the uh, magic shots. They don't have the Sven one, and they don't have – they. there were two Olaf ones, so they still have the Olaf one that you can find, you know, in other parks and at Disneyland, but not – there was, like, an Olaf one where he was, like, taking his head off. Okay. So, so those they don't have anymore, but they do still have the Anna and Elsa one and the regular Olaf one. <clears throat> and there's like a snowflake. So they're uh, where they have the Oaken's trading post where they, they moved it to where um, like where they have the Mike and Sully meet. So like across from there is like where it was. Like it's where they used to have the uh, movie props and stuff. And they closed that a couple months ago. And so then that's where they have now the Oaken's thing. Trading there. post. Yeah. So... It doesn't have the ice rink anymore. I think they still have snow and, of course, all the stuff you can buy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but that's so they still have those. So they still have the Anna and Elsa one. So if you, if you don't want to wait a couple hours, you can go take your picture with the magic shot. <laughs> <laughs> or if you don't get a fast pass, there you go. <laughs> yeah. And I think uh, the, the other one was, um, that I sort of updated on the site was because I got from Tanya that they have a poison apple for at Disneyland. Yes. For like the Halloween time, which is really cute. But they I've also heard they have it for during the Halloween party, but I've been having trouble trying to find out about it because it's it's like in the hub, but then one person said it was only if you had that special event ticket, you know, they have a an upcharge event. Oh yeah. But then someone else said it depends if there's like no characters out, then the then the photographer can take it. And they had been having a lot of rain, so like a lot of that wasn't happening. So my friend who was trying to find out about it hasn't been able to find out. So I, that's another thing I'm going to try to see uh, yeah. when I go. So I'm going to like the second to last party, so I'm hoping it's out because it was really cute. Cause I have the picture on the post of Tanya's. Oh, yeah, it's cute. <laughs> yeah, I was super excited because I um, <laughs> Heather had reminded me to do the zero one because I kept yes. forgetting about it and I was like oh I'll go find out if she does the zero one so I go over there and there was kind of a long line in front of the pumpkin and I was like do you do the zero magic shot and she's like yeah and I'm like okay cool I'll get in line and so I go up there and I do the zero one she's like have you done the poison apple one and I said excuse me yeah. <laughs> what poison apple one <laughs> like, I was like no I haven't so now I want to <laughs> yeah that's really cool it's it's a fun shot they so they added uh, a poison candied apple into your hand and then a big cauldron at your feet yeah yeah Yeah. and they make a scary face do they have pascal (laughs) at disney world not that i've heard so far other than that video one yeah i'd heard that they were probably going to add it but it had to do with uh since they had an olaf one so i didn't know if they were going to have that instead so i don't know if it's really there but i'll i'll go and Check it out while you're there. <laughs> yeah. And Heather, that. between the three of us, we're doing we're doing our best to keep that post updated on Capturing Magic continually. And if anyone changes anything or adds anything new, we'll put at the top the date that it was changed and added. You can get to it by going to capturingmagic.me magic shots forward yeah, slash. Sorry, capturingmagic.me forward slash <laughs> magic shots. <laughs> and there was also... It's not um, having anything to do with the magic shots. Um, I don't think. I think this is separate. But have you heard about the picture they have at the new Haunted Mansion store? No. It's the there's the um, over by the Haunted Mansion is called Memento Mori, mm-hmm. and it's like like there's like lines. I don't know why still, but I, I think it's, it's still brand lines. new because yeah. it's yeah, just it's opened sure. and it's Haunted Mansion and it's Halloween time. Yeah. So. 
So hopefully that dies down by the time yeah. we go. But uh, it's, they have a, I don't know too much about the specifics because I've only really seen one person post about it. And I'm not sure how much it is, but I had heard that the price was going to go up. So I don't know. But it, yeah, they take your picture and then they make it, you know, like the, the portrait, like when you first walk in. And so it makes it look like, you know, you're the ghost, the skeleton thing that all of a sudden I'm blanking on the Master Gracie, right? that what it is that like the changing portraits yeah no oh. like when you first no not at the disney like at disney world you know when you first oh. walk in you have the portrait right there where you have to wait before you go into the stretching room no i'm totally not i, I don't know either <laughs> I'm probably i feel crazy. like i i well i honestly i've only rode that ride once at disney world in the last like several trips that i've been on because the lines have always been so stinking long and my I have a child that doesn't like that ride. Yeah. (laughs) But uh, yeah, that's a fast pass plus problem. But yeah, (laughs) because they used to not have long lines. Yeah. But yeah, so it's it's the (laughs) the funny thing is I asked one of my friends on Twitter, like that's his picture (laughs) on Twitter. (laughs) Like I can like see it in front of me. (laughs) But it's the one. And so it makes it look like it's the, um, I can't, I'm pretty sure it's the Master Gracie picture. I'm gonna right? Google. I'm, I'm kind of like blanking. And probably people are like, oh. they're screaming yeah. at us so right it's now. Like the ghost um, skeleton kind of thing. So it like change, like it takes your picture and then it like changes it to us. So I think it's like a holographic thing. Yeah. So I think it's. Oh, I, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's Master Gracie. It looks like to me. Yeah. So that's like a, a new thing, and I, I don't believe it's anything that has like added to your photo pass or anything i think like they take it but i don't think it has anything to, i think you have That's to an additional pay separate. Co- charge and up charge yeah probably but um it was really cool what i saw <laughs> the picture of it so i will try to see what it looks like and if it's not too expensive get it yeah but <laughs> there are a lot of big haunted mansion fans out there that would want to yeah. be that would be excited about doing it I mean, the rumor had been that, um, you know, when they, they refurbed the ride, it was down, I think, for a couple of days or something. And then they had this, uh, the the store that they were going to have, you know, at the end, that a they were going to have like, a ride picture. Yes, a ride photo. A ride picture. Yeah. But then that didn't happen. But Yeah, they were saying that the rumor that I saw was that it was going to be with the hitchhiking ghost, the magic, right. or the um, ride photo was going to, which I think would be so awesome. That would be awesome. I'm wearing my Hitchhiking Ghost shirt today, by the way, as we're recording. <laughs> yes. The <laughs> signs. <laughs> I would, yeah, I would love to have a ride photo like that. Okay, anything else on Magic Shots? Um, only other thing with uh, the photo pass or the, the you know, memory maker is that they, they don't burn the discs for you anymore, at least at Disney World, that you have to, you can only get them online. So, like, um, I remember when Tanya went to Disneyland to get all the magic shots, and so then she went to the, the photo store. Yes. And then they burned the CD for her, right? Yes. Isn't that what they did? Uh, so the, they do do that at Disneyland yeah. with Photo Pass, but that's Photo Pass. Yeah, they got rid of that once they implemented Memory Maker. Right, but they, yeah, so they don't do that for you. That's That was one of my, that's the thing my friend wanted me to, told me about, too. So, yeah. You can still, like, get it online, but you can't get it. You can get like a CD online, but you can't get it in the store anywhere. Okay. Because I thought Memory Maker was just a digital download thing. Yeah. Just a digital download product. Maybe they're slowly phasing it out. Yeah, I guess. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. The other Memory Maker thing, there were a couple other things. Um, They do have day passes now if you're going to a party where you can just get a day pass for your photos at Disney World and it's less expensive. Do you know how much it is, Heather? I think I want to say 30 to 40. Yeah, I remember I sent it to you. I don't know if I could find it or something, but yeah, I'll see if I can look it up. Yeah, but. I think it's thirty to forty or in that price range. But you know, mo- most people, most people that are going to take advantage of that are going to be season annual pass holders that live down there. I would think. Otherwise, if you're going on a trip down there, you're going to get the whole darn thing. Yeah, I would. I mean, a day pass is nice. Like yeah. If, if they did that for that cheap here, I would do that. Yes. Especially if, I, if, if you're I, going if for a birthday party. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I would totally do that. Because I always think to myself, like, I could get the photo pass, but I have like two weeks. So I need to go like four times <laughs> to, <laughs> to make it worth it. Worth. You know, but if they did, did a day one, that would be awesome. Yeah. Okay. It's $39. Okay. 
So, yeah. um, I mean, right, like the thing they had up was for the Halloween party, but I'm sure if they did it for the Halloween party, they're doing they're gonna it. They're going to, yeah. 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 So I, I think that's a pretty good deal. I do too. I, but like I said, if you're going on a trip there well, and you're well, going to like, be there for a while, just get the whole memory maker, really. See, we feel that, but then there's other people who don't, you know, go and like try to take pictures all the time or they don't care about the magic shots or whatever. So maybe if you just go to the party and since you're going to be getting like a ton of characters, you know, maybe they're not like me and go meet characters all the time. Right. <laughs> you know? So $40 is like, definitely worth it for that Halloween party because you yeah. need a lot of characters at yeah. that Halloween party. I'm still yeah. trying to wrap my round, my brain around you wouldn't want memory maker and <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> i mean i've been going to disney world for then disneyland for a long time and i get those every single time i go it just doesn't matter i get them every single time but it's my favorite it is my very favorite souvenir and i know that there there are some people that don't get them because they figure they'll just hand off their camera i'm still gonna get them even when i didn't like magic shots heather i still got <laughs> i still bought my photo pass <laughs> I always got it too. And then every time I'll think, okay, maybe I won't get it this time because, you know, I, I always have issues with some of the pictures. And then every time I still, I, like I said, the other day I went and I ordered it for this one because I yeah. know either because I'll be alone a part of it or if I'm going to the party or if I'm yeah. doing this or that, you know. So I just always can come up with a reason to say because, you know, we'd rather have the picture than not. Yeah. It's always, it's always good to have the backup. And then – a lot of the time, they'll snap a bunch of photos, you know, like where you, the when you hand your camera off, maybe that person will only snap one photo. You know, yeah. you never know. Yeah. You'll end, up, you'll end up with some good photos, you know. That's always. that's the thing. And especially when I've done the character meets and stuff, you know, I'm working on scrapbooking our trip from June, our graduation trip from June. And having those pictures, especially indoor, where mm -hmm. their cameras were set up for Elsa, the Elsa and Anna Gree, and my photos just weren't that good. I am so grateful yeah. that we have those photos. So anyway. Okay, is that all, everything for Memory Maker? Yeah, I, I believe so. Oh, the other thing you said that you sent over is the... Oh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> no, it's... Um that when I ordered this, they it used to be that you would print the paper out, and then you had to bring it there. Although you just went right in. Yeah, I didn't do any of that <laughs> stuff. They they told me to in my account, and I'm like, forget you. I'm just gonna yeah. start <laughs> taking pictures and have it added to my magic band because I don't know why you want me to go. And it worked. I checked to make sure that the photos were showing up in my PhotoPass account. And then I downloaded a photo that day and it gave me a warning saying, you are now redeeming your memory maker voucher. I'm like, well, good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> so, yeah. And so when I ordered it this time, they had a note and it said, as long as you're signed in. So if you sign in first on the Disney site, like with your My Disney Experience yes. information, then it says it's like automatically on there. So Yeah. And that's how I bought mine was I logged in to My Disney Experience and then went into the Memory Maker and bought it there. I don't know how else to buy it. That was the easy way to buy it, <laughs> I thought. <laughs> so, yeah. So the, no extra steps anymore. Right, which was really so. That's nice. So really um, nice. You can just hit the, buy it at having, home. Having to get to the park like after everything you've gone through to get there, then yes. you have to go check in here and check yes. in there. And, no. Yes, exactly. And that's how PhotoPass Plus has been too, and that's how it still is at Disneyland. You still got to go make yeah. sure you got that paper voucher. Go to the photo store, but yeah, especially going all the way to the East Coast, that was the last thing I wanted to do when I got into the park <laughs> was go somewhere to make sure that I had my photo thing set up. So I'm glad that they got it figured out. Okay, we good. Yep. Okay, let's talk about the text, the photo and the fo ride photos at Disneyland that they were beta testing for texting and email. Yes. Um, I saw them anywhere from four ninety nine to free. So it dep depended on the day. Um, I saw somebody post one from Splash Mountain and they said it was four ninety nine. Yep. And so when I went to check it out, it was on sale that day for ninety nine cents. And so I go on Splash Mountain. And you get off the ride and it says, it says today only like 99 cents special. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to go do that. And you go up and they have you do it all. Like you pick your, you tell them your number, they pull up the photo and they have you enter. You can either do it through text messaging or email. I had them do email. And so they give me a, they hand me an iPad 
And I just type in my email and they're like, all right, it should be there in five to 10 minutes. And I said, okay. And it was there pretty much right away. And you just download it straight to your phone. 99 cents. Yeah. And it had artwork already added. Yep. Splash Mountain. Yeah. Frame around it Mm -hmm. and stuff. And then um, the next or that same week sometime you had texted me and said, or John had texted me, one of you had texted me and said that um, California Screamin' was doing it for free. Yes. Oh, wow. So, free. I see. I've yeah. seen, I've seen four ninety nine, one ninety nine, and 99 cents. And now I'm yeah, hearing there free. Was one, there was one day when wow. California Screamin' was doing it for free. That's cool. Yeah. I did hear both Splash Mountain and California Screamin' were, were beta testing it. However, I haven't, both of us commented that we haven't heard anything about it for quite a while. So we don't know for sure if, They've scratched the beta test and aren't doing it anymore or what's going on. I really hope they keep it around though, because it was, it's nice. Yeah. It's a really cool thing. We all, like, I would rather pay 99 cents than take a photo of the screen. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) We all do that. Even a dollar 99, right? Yeah. Even a dollar 99 is fine. Yeah. Anything's better than the 16 that they would charge you normally. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, it's a lower resolution photo though. It still looks, it looks great for, it does. for its purpose though. Yes, it does. And you're going to, if you go to Disneyland this week, you're going to check on that for us so yes, that we can I, post definitely, it. Definitely check on it. Yeah. And we'll, we'll let everyone know the status of those because they were everywhere and it, on Instagram, they were everywhere for quite a while and, and yeah, Twitter. I haven't that, seen that, anything that for Heather was out here. They were like all over the place. Yeah. It was that Labor Day weekend during that race. Yeah. But then for a couple of weeks around that time, but I haven't seen anything for a long time. So Okay, the other thing that we were going to talk about today is the Project Life app. We have Mm -hmm. lots of listeners that like to document their memories using pocket scrapbooking and Project Life. I was part of the beta testing on that app, and so it's kind of hard for me to be objective because... Um, you got it for free? Well, not anymore. <laughs> I mean, I did have to buy it because I want the app updates. And if I yeah. want the app updates, I have to buy it. But Becky did send me a gift card to buy it. So, you know, yeah, I guess I did get it for free. But so, yeah, it's hard for me to be objective. But I, you know, I got to say, I was so impressed the first time I opened up that app. And I, you know, all of the beta testers, from my understanding, went back with, you know, different things. And I went back with some suggestions, things I would like to see. And they implemented a few of them just to make them a user a bit user more friendly. So it's hard for me, you know, when they're implementing my suggestions, it's hard for me to say that I don't like that. App. Yeah, that's true. That's I love it. I really do love it. But um, Tanya, you said that you bought it. Let's hear about what you think. I did. I just bought it a couple of days ago. So I played around with it a little bit. Um. It's super easy. Everything is, I, I am, I am a stickler for, I try to find scrapbooking apps, whether I use them or not. I have been trying to find like the ideal scrapbooking app, <laughs> like just for like, since I got an iPhone pretty much. And so, um, this one is just so well done. Like it's, they put every thought that a scrapbooker would want and an app and they put it in there. Yeah, it's 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 very well done. I mean, and they they give you a good starter pack to start with and it's easy. And the only thing I um, just browsing through it real quickly, though, my only couple and they're not even really complaints, really um, being able to like bundle by the packs uh-huh. instead of bu- buying them individually. And the only other thing that's keeping me from like wanting to use it all the time is the shadows. There's no shadows. Yeah. That's the reason why I haven't gotten it. The, um, yeah. But I, I asked somebody about it and they got back to me and said, there is a slight shadow that you can see when it's printed. No, there's not. See, that. <laughs> They lie. They lie. <laughs> that is the only thing. That's I'll be honest. <laughs> I've, I mean, because I've done a lot of, and I've printed tons of layouts mm-hmm. with it that I've done in there. I've done, I think I posted the other day, I've got about 30 layouts that I've done in the app since I started testing it. And I got a whole bunch of them printed and there's not a shadow there that you can yeah, see at all. That's the only thing. That yeah. was really my only complaint. Like even the slight shadow. Yeah. I, there's not a slight shadow when you yeah. print it. There's really not. Um, I did ask them to add drop shadows. I haven't heard back if they're planning. I would, my guess, just this is me speaking. I don't know anything. I have, no one said anything. But I would be willing to bet they are not going to add it. Yeah. That would be my guess. Um, I I mean, I like how everything prints out. It, there, it's a lower resolution than the 300 DPI. I believe it's like 237 DPI for a 12 by 12. 
Um, but they print really good, really good at 12 by 12. You don't look at it and say, but you do have to be careful because if you take the layout into other apps or into Instagram and then upload your Instagram version of the layout, it's not going to print well because it'll be a lower resolution. Um, yeah, I, I, there's tons of layout options and like, there's a lot of stuff in that app and it is really cool. But that shadow thing is the only thing that's yeah. going to keep me from printing with it. Yeah. So why Playing do you think they're it, not yeah, going to, like, why do you think they won't add that? I think, um, my personal opinion is that I think that it's really hard. Drop shadows are such, there's such a personal preference on how you like your drop shadows that I think it would be near to impossible to make everybody happy or even a good portion of people happy with stock drop shadows and that's what I told them I was like if they're going to be drop shadows if you want to add drop shadows we all of us digital scrapbookers would love to see drop shadows but they've got to be good drop shadows or don't add them because yeah and I just think it would be really I mean like the stock drop shadows be a on off option yes that would I mean it'd have to be an on off option obviously yes I I hope they do I hope they do add it. I hope I'm wrong because I would love to see that. I, the app is super intuitive. I think really easy to figure out. My six year old made a page. Like I have said before, my six year old easily quickly made a page in like 30 seconds. I, she's eight now. Sorry. She was seven at the time. (laughs) Seven. Um, Yeah, I know. Right. She was seven when she, when she made the layout in the app she didn't run into any problems at all it's it's really super intuitive easy to use however it won't replace my regular digital scrapbooking because i love digital scrapbooking so much i've been a scrapbooker since i was um like eight So 32 years I've been a scrapbooker (laughs) of some kind. I did paper for a long time and then I've, I've been doing digital for 11 years, I think now 10 or 11 years. And I just really do love it. And so what I use it for is quick pages, quick things that I want to share on Instagram or that I want to share with family or things that I know that I'm not going to document any other way. Yeah, exactly. The, the extra photos. Uh, yeah, just the, you know, I stuff for homeschool. Things that we're doing in homeschool, I'm not going to take the time to scrapbook those digitally. It's just not, I don't like doing that kind of stuff. I'm not a good project lifer because the everyday kind of moment mm-hmm. stuff is not my thing that I like to document. I love to document trips. I love I'm a little um, iffy on the way text looks as well on it. Yeah, tell me what you think. Like what? It, it needs to have the ability to change the opacity. Oh. Because it, I th- I personally think that it looks too harsh sometimes on the pages. Like uh-huh. it's almost like it's not supposed to be there. Right. Or it looks too computerized. I don't right. know. Right. I think the the different fonts and stuff are fine. You know, that's all good. See, I want I more you, font choices. Yeah. If you can change the opacity of the text to make it look like it's blending into the page more... And not just like straight up black on. Yeah, have you tried changing yeah. the colors? Um, a little bit, yeah. Right, but I still, have, it's I not have super played with it. But some, it's, yeah, just some of it just seems a little bit harsh. But mm-hmm. the black on the white, especially a lot of times, yeah. because not a lot of the Project Life kits have black in them. Yeah, exactly. They're all more neutral pastel, and there's a lot of bright colors too. But yeah, like black is not an overall theme in Project Life, like at all. At all. <laughs> there's, I don't. Yeah, there's not. Yeah, there's just a few, a little bit here and there. There's not. I, I'm trying to think of my favorite kits and my favorite, like Honey. The Honey Edition is one of my favorites that I love to use for Disney photos, and there's no black in that. Yeah. Yeah. So good but point. It, but it could be just be the ones that I've seen. Um, those people have decided not to change the color of the text. And so it stands out to me because mm-hmm. I'm a stickler for changing text color. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's got to match the stuff people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've used it for a few Disney photos, but I, you know, even those photos, I'm most likely still going to scrapbook those digitally too, but I just mostly did it to share quickly on Instagram or, th- I mean, really, cause you can do a layout in under a minute in this app. Yeah. And so f- to me, it's a really fun, fun way to share photos. My daughter had a birthday party and I was taking pictures and while they were working on their craft project, I hurried and created pages and sent them to the parents. Cute. Yeah. While we were doing the party, which was really fun. 
So just stuff that, and sad as it is, I don't normally scrapbook birthdays. So, <laughs> unless they're a birthday at Disney, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So at least those pictures got documented somehow. That party did get documented, which it never would have any other way. So yeah, I love it. It's the app is a dollar ninety nine. It's a right? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then the add on packs are anywhere from ninety nine cents to a dollar ninety nine too, right? Yeah. I want bundled packs. But you want to be able to get like the whole. Yeah. I want like the whole set for a set price for, and you don't care if it's a discount. I mean like, yeah. Yeah. Like five of them for 10 bucks. Like, yeah. Five, 10 bucks, whatever. Or give me a set of three for. So you don't have to go through and download them all. Every single one of them. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Cause I'm buying them all anyway. Yeah. I mean, I am a sucker for doing that in any app. Yep. Like if I can, if I can get everything for one set price, I will every time. (laughs) <laughs> like, even if I'm not going to use it, <laughs> but I'm, I'm the same the way. Thing. Like, yeah, I'm the, I mean, cause really two bucks for that whole thing. <laughs> it's yeah. Like nothing. Yeah. I, I spend money in apps too. Yeah. I, um, I am an app, an app purchaser for sure. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, so Heather, have we convinced you that you need to download it or not? Yeah, no, she does. If it had shadows, she would have it. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's that because I used to paper scrap and so then it took me a long time to convert to digi scrapping because a lot of things that I saw they looked I felt like fake yes so and that's because it didn't have shadows and so once I started I found you know the communities where people were you know scrapping and you know they had the, the looked real and so that's when I started making the conversion to that so that's why it it bothers me isn't the right word but I mean because there's like no shadow so it just looks like something like oh I would do them like it looks like something I went and I did on my phone you know what I mean yeah it's flat yeah it's flat looking it's flat yeah so that's kind of my you know thing because I I'd been I hadn't been scrapping for a while and I'm like starting to just get back into it so I still don't really feel like I'm like scrapping that great but I still like shadows are such a a big deal I think yes it's, it's you know I can even look at some of like my old layouts and say, okay, I really like that, but I have to go in and fix the shadows because it bothers me. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And I know that was one of the very first questions you asked me. And yeah, yeah I, I had already asked about it, but I couldn't talk about it yet at that time because <laughs> I had signed an NDA. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's, I hope that it's something that they'll add because... Those of us I that are digi scrappers, think it, would, it would just be more. It'd be beneficial to them, I think. Yeah, I mean, they do have they do have the ability to have rounded corners or square corners in there, and you can easily change those with just a tap. Yeah. So I would think that drop shadows would probably be the same thing. Yeah, I mean, it, they don't have they don't have to be perfect drop shadows. No, I mean, they don't have to be great. Drop shadow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just look good. Yeah. Um, Give me something. Give me something. Yeah. there And there's, you know, I know having done this before, the list of what you want to do is always so long. Yeah. Yeah. And it just takes time. And then, you know, you have to make sure that you're making money from it before you can go dumping a whole bunch of more money into it. <laughs> but, you know, another thing that I hope they're going to add is iCloud abil- capability. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a layout in my project life folder that I'm it's an, kind of an I call it an ongoing layout but I have to save it every time I add stuff to it I'm just it's a picture of my daughter and then every time she says something funny I go in and add it on a card in there Cute. but I have to save it every time because it's not the app doesn't work with iCloud and so it's not syncing it up to iCloud uh, so if my phone crashed or I got a new phone which I'm planning on doing soon there's no way for me to get that layout again yeah. and be able to work on it more so I will be happy when they add that as well I, that's yeah. all I can think of I think the text though one of the things that I love about the text is that it's intuitive in how it's placed around the jur- journaling card it automatically mm-hmm. curves around any pictures yeah. or decorative elements or anything on there and that's really great for an app I think yeah I am overall like super impressed with it. Yeah. Yeah. I've always every, I have nitpicky things about every app, but overall it's a really, really good app. Like you could tell they put some serious time into it. Yes. 
Yeah, their developer. I that's I keep telling Becky, kudos to your development team because really, yeah, it's I mean, really really. Even when we first started seeing beta layouts come out, till the app actually came out was a long time. Yeah, like I feel like it was a long time. It was a month. I just wanted to see. Yeah, that feels like like we were. I was seeing layouts constantly, and I'm like, when is it coming out? Yeah, (laughs) and part of that was Apple. I think by the time when they submitted it, it was a two week wait time before Apple reviewed it and approved it. Yeah, which is, I mean, when you when you're on the end and you've submitted something, it feels like forever. I mean, Mm -hmm. it really does feel like forever. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah, I mean, it was a long time. It was a month, I think, about. It could have even yeah. been five weeks Longest or month six. Ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if you haven't gotten the app, check it out. Check out the Capturing Magic feed. I have some layouts in there that I posted if you haven't seen any. Um, or Instagram feed, sorry, if you haven't seen any. And there have been some on the Facebook page, too. Oh, so. can we talk about Mini T? Yes, let's. <laughs> I was just going to post a photo about her, and then I forgot. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, I wanted to talk about her. Let's, let's talk about her. Um, she's cute. <laughs> no, in case you didn't see the blog post on the blog, um, Mini Me ha- Mini Me and her Mini have a new friend that lives in Southern California named Mini T. Yes, and she's super cute and she likes Disneyland. Yes, it's exciting. So, yeah, so um, I've been I finally got like the photos from last week when I took her to Disneyland off my camera. So I've been posting those today. So you'll see photos of her almost every week, probably. That's exciting. We'll yeah, see, we'll get to follow her adventures on your Instagram account, and then when you want to do posts about her too. Yeah, perfect. Yep. yep. Yeah, she's fun. She's adorable. <laughs> I'm even. <laughs> I've even gotten comments on her already. Like when I'm in the park. Really? Yeah, I can't even tell you how many times because her hair looks so much like mine <laughs> that like people are like, "Oh my god, it's her." Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, it's a little version of her. <laughs> like, it like I'm never gonna like be able to change you. my hair color. No, again. you can't. No, you can't. It's uh, yeah. I was. I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks just like her. Yeah, it's funny. But yeah, and she's fine. Adorable. Okay. That's about it. Is that it? Is that all we yeah. have for today? Yeah. No one thought of anything else. Okay, let's do some picks. Got it. Tanya. Yes. Um, I had to look one up just now. <laughs> um, <laughs> you <for> got one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mine is an Etsy shop. Oh, yay. Um, Heather and I for the 10K. You weren't going to use this one, right? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for the 10K, um, we were try- We did Anna and Elsa, and we were trying to think of, could we get bows? What should we wear in our hair? And I found um, a super cute headband. They make the little ribbon people. Oh, yes, cute. and they make a bunch of the Disney princesses and like all kinds of stuff. Yeah, she makes all kinds of stuff. But so I had an Elsa one and Heather wore an Anna one, and they were they were super cute. cute. Yeah, but she and makes she, really cute ribbon people. And she also makes custom ones because for my next race, I asked to get a custom one for my costume. So and it came adorable. Like I didn't even know what it was going to look like. And it, I had to take a picture and show Tanya. I'm like, oh my god, it's so cute! <laughs> Fun. That's cute. I ordered. I couldn't even. I couldn't even help myself. I didn't even know if I were gonna like them. But when I ordered the Anna and Elsa, I had to order a Rapunzel one for myself too, <laughs> like, just because it was there. And they're really cute. Really cute. So um, her Etsy store is Creations with Love. So I'll put a link to that. Yeah. Thank you, Heather. I have a Instagram account which is adorable. Oh, it's, God. <laughs> it's um, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's Fertile Lump. It's F E R D A L A L U M P, and it's this um, this little girl. Yeah, and it's adorable. Her mother, yeah, her mother like makes these costumes of like everything. I mean, not just like characters, but also like cast members and like different parade mm-hmm. costumes. And, and like the, there was one the other day with, um, Snow White, like in her rags with like, um, a bird on her hand. So it's good. Her Halloween like, dress was so cute. Oh yeah. It was like Nightmare yeah. Before Christmas yeah, thing. And so like her cute. hair was up in like, yeah. like, oh, like I can't. <laughs> and the little girl's only like two, between two and three. Yeah. I think yeah, she, she just she, turned three because she, she posted a picture of her magic band. Oh, she okay. has now. Oh, <laughs> but and I keep, she post, like yeah. she posts those videos of her like right, like the characters know yeah. her. 
Yeah. And so like, she runs up to them and they're like long lost friends. Like I can't. It's, like, it's so cute. It's yeah. So like a friend cute. of mine had asked me, they're like, oh, are you going to meet Princess Lane? And I'm like, who's that? And she's, oh, it's, you know, this one. I'm like, oh, yeah, that one. You know, so like a lot of the cast members know who she is and. It's it's just so, like you said the the video of her like they even had the video of her like watching the parade and she's like busy waving <laughs> like watching a video of it you know so, so it's so cute so you need to go watch something really cute yeah go follow that her <laughs> it's adorable yeah. it makes me want to have more kids <laughs> so cute and then you realize all the effort that yeah to that. <laughs> and then they grow up and yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. super super cute okay my pick is. Disney tees from Target. Yeah. I was at Target today and saw probably six or seven different Disney tees, Disney related tees. They have a Jack Skellington out there right now, long sleeve t-shirt. They have um, trying to. They have a Donald Duck one that says what, but it looks like Donald Duck character letters. <laughs> they have a Mickey Mouse one that says love. They have an Empire Stripes Strikes Back. There were a whole bunch of them. And so I was like, man, this is a jackpot. If you've got a Disney trip coming up. Oh, they had a Lion King one. And they're just like that 10 one. bucks, right? Yeah, they're yeah, cheap. Yeah. cheap. They're, I, I always stop by and look there. And yes. I always look in the kids section and yeah. the boys section. And like, because usually the like extra large fits me. <laughs> so that's, I always look through theirs and I can't. I'm, you know, even when you, you know how Target is, you go in there for one thing and then. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> that's, that's what I did today. <laughs> I just got, I think I just got that Lion King one. Yeah. In the, and that's in the women's section. In the girls section, yeah. they had tons of Elsa and Anna and Olaf, probably 10 different t-shirts in the girls section. And then they had um, some in the boys section and then some in the men's section too. Not as many in the men's section, but I've never looked in the men's section. <laughs> I always yeah. look in the girls. I mean, in the women's section and then in the kids section, my son's in the men's you're missing out on the section. <laughs> you are, you are the small men's small my work. Yeah. For you, but yeah. So they mostly have in the men's section, star Wars related ones. If I remember oh, you right, know, I might, might have seen some, or maybe that was the boys one. I don't know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So check it out. Yeah, I got Jack today for eight bucks on nice. sale. Yeah, they had a really cute um, for Halloween and it was Mickey. It was like a skeleton. Cute. But I saw that one, but there was only one left. So. Yeah, there wasn't. They didn't have my size. So. Yeah. Yeah, they had a baseball shirt with the Minnie Mouse in the pocket, too. It was really cute. Like the baseball sleeves. Yeah. And then a pocket tee with Minnie Mouse poking out. It was really cute. Really, really cute. So check it out. Okay, that's it. Let's remind everyone where to find us. Tanya. Uh, my blog is crossbonecuts.blogspot.com. You can find my digital scrapbooking designs at scraporchard.com. And my name is Tanya H666 on all social media. Perfect. Heather. My character site is heatherw.com slash character. And I'm up to 217 characters now wow yeah i had my <laughs> update after my disneyland trip so got a couple there remember she's freaking out about hitting 200 like she was yeah. yes. never do it yeah i know <laughs> it did seem like it took a long time to get yeah. those last few all the way back in february <laughs> 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 so we'll see and i do know that i definitely will get a couple new characters this trip because i'm going to a um blog meetup for the big hero six Ooh. and so the oh. characters are going to be there so and they're also going to be in the parks i uh, i don't know when nobody seems to know exactly when but sometime beginning of or mid november so they're gonna meet at both parks so so that's this new character so and hopefully in the race we'll see yeah. so uh so that's a, that's my site and then i also have a facebook page for my site which is i love characters and on Twitter and Instagram, I'm Heather W25. And especially when I'm at Disney, I post tons of pictures. Yes, so fun. <laughs> Perfect. And you, yeah, you're going to be there in just a very short amount of time after this goes live. Yeah, a day or two, or maybe the yeah. day of. Yeah. I'll be there the day before Halloween. So. Yay. Okay. I'm Steph. You can find me at capturingmagic.me. Uh, our social media is capturingmagic underscore. So creative. <laughs> and you can find me at thedailydigi.com where we have some great 
new classes if you're interested in learning how to digital scrapbook. You can find them at thedailydigi.com forward slash classes. There are four different classes, photo organization, supply organization, beginning digital scrapbooking, and then a one that will show you how to scrapbook over 1,500 photos in 14 hours. Pretty amazing stuff. Okay. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Thanks. Thank yeah. you. And we will be back here next time where we will be capturing magic. <laughs>